Say goodbye to making brunch reservations, waking up early on a weekend, and spending a fortune at a restaurant. We're making a brunch time staple with a twist that you can cook at home. It's perfect for Mother's Day, a special birthday, or well, any day really. I'm Chef Jim, and you're watching Publix Aprons Cooking School online. All right, let's start making our sweet corn cakes eggs benedict with hollandaise sauce. We'll start by prepping our scallion and corn mixture, which we're going to place in the bowl of a food processor and pulse together. And we're going to separate some eggs. All right, so we've done our prep work and I've washed my hands. Now we're ready to uh, continue making our sweet corn cakes here. So I'm gonna take my scallion and corn mixture that we pulsed together, add that to a bowl with some egg yolks and some extra virgin olive oil. Then we'll combine that together for the first part of our batter. And then in another bowl here, we're going to combine our dry ingredients. So we've got some whole wheat flour, some cornmeal, baking powder, sea salt, and ground white pepper. And we'll just combine those dry ingredients in a separate bowl here. After they're combined, We'll add them to our corn scallion mixture with the eggs and the olive oil. Just like so. For the next part of our batter, we're going to whip some egg whites to soft peaks. So we've got our three egg whites here in the bowl. I've got a nice whisk. And we're just going to start whisking them together by hand until they get nice, light, and fluffy and form soft peaks. And the whole process should only take a couple of minutes. A lot of times I'll tilt the bowl to the side like so to collect the egg whites down into the one part of the bowl and that, that helps to whisk them a little bit faster. So these are perfect. All we're going to do now is fold those into the other part of the batter. All right. So by folding we're going to be taking our spatula down underneath the batter and up over while we're turning the bowl. And we want to combine the mixture, but not too much. We still want to maintain the lightness and the airiness in there. If there's still a little bit of egg white streaks in there, that's okay. All right, just like so. So these are ready to cook. I have my preheated skillet to which I'm going to add some olive oil. And once I start adding the olive oil to the pan, I can always tell if it's the right temperature or not by what the oil does. So I can see that oil is going to start to shimmer in the light and it might actually just start to smoke just ever so slightly. So our batter here, we have about enough to make eight of these and uh, we can't fit all them in the pan at the same time. So we'll probably do about four at a time. So we'll just place that batter right in there. Carefully. And as it starts to cook, it'll spread itself out. As I see these cakes are starting to cook, they're starting to brown around the edges, and that lets me know that they're starting to brown nicely. And we're just going to cook these three or four minutes per side. It doesn't take a long time. So as you can see, they start to release themselves from the pan as they cook. And we'll just flip that over. See, it's nice and golden brown. That's what we're looking for. Same thing there. So just kind of turn them over gently. Nice color. And then we'll cook the other side till golden brown. So just a few minutes. 
So this is the one I put in first here, and I think he's done. So it's going to take him out and put him right there on our parchment to cool off. Okay, see that? They slide right out of the pan, real easy. These look wonderful, really nice. These are going to make a nice base for our eggs benedict. Now we can make our hollandaise sauce. So we're going to begin with a double boiler. So I've got a pot of water at a simmer, just about an inch, inch and a half of water in the bottom of the pot. And we're going to place into a large bowl a couple of egg yolks and half of our lemon juice. We're going to place that bowl directly over the pot, let it rest, and whisk the egg yolk mixture. And so the process is going to take uh, three or four minutes or so. Want to be careful not to bring your water to a boil and get too much heat going, unless we cook the eggs. If you have to, occasionally re remove the bowl while whisking to slow the process down a little. You can do that. You can see the steam coming from the pot. Or you can turn it just down a little bit, just to maintain a very low simmer. Once you can see that color is lightened, and they've gone from that deep yellow to more of a lemon color yellow, at this point, we can start to add our butter. So we've got seven ounces of whole butter here, and we're just going to add a little bit at a time. So I'll add like about a quarter of that, and whisk it into the egg, mix, egg yolk mixture to incorporate. Once that's melted and incorporated, we'll add the remaining butter. Okay, I think we're right where we need to be. So at this point, we'll remove the hollandaise from the pan, and we'll go ahead and add our remaining ingredients. Start with the other half of our lemon juice, some salt, sea salt, a little cayenne pepper, and a little white pepper. A little bit of Worcestershire sauce, and some Tabasco. We'll whisk just a little bit more to combine. And there you have your finished hollandaise sauce. OK, we're ready for the last step of our recipe, which will be poaching our eggs. So to begin, we've got some water simmering in a pot here on the stove. And to that, we're going to add a little bit of vinegar. This is a champagne vinegar. The acidity in the vinegar is going to help coagulate the whites of the eggs and hold them together when we poach them. I'm also going to give the water a little stir and get it moving in the pot so that when I add my egg, it doesn't sink down to the bottom. And I'm just going to gently lay the eggs down into that water, one at a time, very slowly. And then we're going to poach them. This is only going to take a couple of minutes. We're basically going to poach these eggs over easy. Okay, so our eggs are finished cooking, so we can remove them from the water with our slotted spoon and place them carefully on our corn cakes, being careful to drain them well. Again, just carefully onto the corn cakes. And then we can top with our hollandaise sauce, like so. Oh boy, does that look good. And lastly, garnish with some scallions. That looks great. Now my favorite part, we get to taste and see how it is. Put egg, oh, nice runny yolk. Mmm, boy, is that good. I love the contrast of flavors with the fresh corn in the corn cake and the richness of the hollandaise and the acidity there. It's just a great flavor combination. What a great dish. Just amazing. I hope this has inspired you to kick off the weekend right by making a home-cooked Eggs Benedict brunch. Use the link to download this full recipe and be sure to check out our other Aprons Cooking School videos and subscribe for more great content from Publix. Thanks for watching.